The McHenry Mansion docents number over 100 dedicated souls who love the mansion. Let's peek in on docents showing some of their favorite mansion rooms and favorite items in them. My name is Linda Johnson, and this is my favorite piece in the entire McHenry Mansion. It is a beautiful square rosewood grand that came around the horn and found its way in our lovely, lovely house. I'd like to play a little bit for you. I'd like to play in the shade of the old apple tree, which is a favorite piece of the 1890s. Remember, it's an old piano. Welcome to the children's room. As you can see, I'm surrounded by toys. I have, we have toys for boys and we have toys for girls, but my favorite is the scooter. As you can see, children aren't so very different today from children in the McHenry period. Hello, my name is Carmen Pedrioli and I am going to introduce you to the Victorian Bride's Basket. They could be made out of straw, silver, or glass and came in a wide variety of designs and colors. I am often asked what their use was. The Victorians would often give meaning to different colors. This being blue would mean my love will be true. Other than that, they are purely decorative. Hi, my name's Barbara. This is my favorite room. It's the back parlor in the mansion, and it is the Victorian version of today's family room. Particularly, I'm very fond of this style of furniture. Um, and no notable to this furniture is that it is a little bit shorter than today's furniture, and it all has wheels. And, and that's because people were a little bit shorter back then, and also because they would take the furniture and move it to the natural light during the day, taking advantage of that. And in the evening, they'd move the furniture to the center of the room, taking advantage of the chandelier and the warmth of the fire. Hello, my name is Les Clements. This is the McHenry Mansion Library. Every room is unique in the mansion and the library is no exception. I want to call your attention to one item in the library and that is the chandelier. The chandelier has four light gas burner, of course, and it has a center dome that also is run by gas. The chandelier is unique in this particular mansion because it is the only one that is on a system of weights and pulleys to bring the entire fixture down over the work area of the center table. Hello, my name is Dolly, and I'm standing in the Robert and Matilda Victorian bedroom. In here you will see many items from the late 19th century. One of my favorite is the curling iron. The curling iron, the iron is sitting on a support that is attached to a burner. It's very ornate, it's silver plated with scrolling. The burner heats up and you just place the curling iron on the burner to get it hot. It's made of metal and it has wooden handles. These are very similar to what we use today. And you know, we ladies do need our curling irons no matter what century we're in. Hi, I'm Carol DeVicke, and I want to show you one of the interesting pieces that I have, one of my favorites here at the McHenry Mansion, and that's this hair wreath. It's made from human hair as well as seeds and pods, and it was used as decorations. And also, when a loved one passed away, they would take their hair and make a wreath or some sort of an art form out of the hair as a keepsake for them to remember their loved ones by. So come and visit us and see this in person. My name is Betty Jean Reynolds and I'm a docent at this lovely McHenry Mansion. And one of the pleasures I have besides touring people in the mansion is to portray the life of Matilda McHenry. Matilda's maiden name was Hewitt and she was a very proper quiet, well-mannered person. She always took great care in the way she looked and had her done hair done each week. She was a very good manager. She was very skilled. And she dressed it in the manner very plain of a white blouse and a black skirt. 
and sometimes a shawl. She was always ready in her outfit to enter the front door and receive a calling card from a visitor. She had many responsibilities of training young girls who soon would own their own house. She was very, Matilda was very interested in Victorian manners. One of her famous books that she liked to use was one written in 1860 called The Lady's Book of Etiquette and Manners of Politeness. She liked to show herself as being a quiet, reserved, well-mannered lady. And I'm quite proud that I was able to kind of duplicate the hairdo that she wore. Victorian ladies liked to not have their hair fluffy. They were in place and pulled. At one time, sometimes, she would pull her hair up into a twist with hair and then comb this little piece of hair, short hair, over the dried hair, which was called a chignon. And she would cover the chignon with her hair with curls overlapping on top of the hair. Greetings, my name is Joanne Ryan, and this is my story regarding the McHenry Mansion. I have been a docent since the year 2000, and over the years, we've had many interesting people come to visit our mansion. However, I believe it is the children's group school tours that I have enjoyed the most. As the third graders and fourth graders who are studying local and California history come to the mansion, they are eager to see and hear about life as it was in the 1880s. Many of them are coming fresh from a presentation by our merry maids who have sparked their interest into the life as it was. Their questions are many when they arrive, such as, is this house haunted? or did you work for the McHenry's? Of course, the answer to both questions is no. But I've always found the children to be very well behaved and they leave with a knowledge of our history and our beautiful mansion, our artifacts, and that's what the life used to be as it was in the 1880s. The Victorian gardens surrounding the McHenry mansion provide a lovely oasis for weddings and other outdoor events, a place to stroll and a place to sit and relax. Garden maintenance and coordination is presently under the direction of Mrs. Miller. Many other people contribute to the ongoing upkeep of this garden. The garden provides a favorite backdrop for photography. Hi, I'm Virginia Berry and welcome to the Cozy Corner. This area of the home was used for young couples who wanted to court, and it was a perfect place for the family to watch from either the back or the front parlor to make sure they were okay. But when Merle McHenry came back to visit the home, he had a different story about this cozy corner. He remembered it as a very dark area. It had a lot of Indian rugs and baskets, and it had a very large painted Indian head on a pedestal. And when he was naughty, he was told that the Indian was going to get him. He was scared to death. Hello, my name is Linda Johnson, and I'm in Oramil's sitting room. I'm standing next to one of the rare objects in the mansion, which is a beautiful oak slant top desk. It's rare because it is original to the house, and we know that for two very special reasons. First of all, it has a stamp of the Elmwood Sanitarium right in this drawer, during the sanitarium period. But most importantly, and I think most special, Albert McHenry, Oramil's son, probably bored with his studies or sums or whatever he was doing on this desk, wrote his name on the side of this drawer. It's beautiful. I'm Raylene Evans, and we're in the reception room right now. This would be the first room that everybody would see, because as, as a visitor, you would come with your calling card, give it to the help, and you'd be shown in here where you'd sit and wait and look at all the pretties. And either Mr. or Mrs. McHenry would decide if they were going to see you that day. And if you were to be seen, then you'd be taken into the appropriate room for your conversation. But business was also conducted in this room. For example, if 
um, uh, somebody wanted to talk about the price of wheat or uh, a piece of land that was coming available that might be bought and then how much they could sell it for, Mr. McHenry might come in with that person and they'd close the door, perhaps open a window, light up their cigars and talk about ways to make money. And of course, that's always an interesting thing for the, for the head of household. Hello, I'm Carletta Evans-Steele and I brought you here to the kitchen in our McHenry Mansion. As you can see, this is a kitchen with all of the modern conveniences of a kitchen in 1880s. One of the most important pieces in the kitchen, of course, was your ice box. And this ice box was made in Michigan with a patent of 1878. And you opened the top, block of ice went in the top here. This is lined and you, the lid closes, drains down the back. And then down here you have a compartment where, which is also lined. And that's where you put your milk and eggs and butter and things to keep them cold. Now, of course, you didn't make your own ice. So you needed some way to get the ice. Modesto had a waterworks, was privately held, made ice, and this handy dandy sign, which had different numbers, and those numbers meant how much ice did I want. And you hang it in the window, and the ice man would come around and deliver the ice. He would actually bring it in and put it in the ice box so you didn't have to handle it. And you simply made a decision by how fast your ice was melting so probably change season to season how much you need it. Hi, my name is Sylvia Frazier. One of my favorite rooms is this beautiful dining room. In Victorian times, everything was pretty symmetrical as evidenced by the two windows on either side of the fireplace, except for there being an extra window in this room. At the time that the McHenry's built the house, there was actually a wall here that led to a pantry. When Ormel and his second wife, Murdy, lived here, they tore out the wall, removed the windows, put in a French door, and pushed out the balcony for more entertaining room. One of the beautiful pieces that I enjoy in this room is this big dining room table that can seat up to 22 people with 12 leaves. During Victorian times, silver was very valued, and it showed the affluence and taste of the McHenry's. Here in the mansion, we have some beautiful silver pieces, such as this water tipper, the celery cup, the toast holder, and this beautiful butter dish. Mm -hmm.